If your outdoor adventures find you crossing obstacles such as what you can see behind me, rivers, creeks, streams, brooks, then it's a fairly safe bet that over the years you've experienced good old wet feet. If you want to find out how you can avoid those wet feet by using something as simple as a roll of tape, then keep watching. I feel it's worth saying at this point, of course there are lots and lots of hazards and risks associated with crossing a water obstacle. And in terms of the, uh, the scale of severity, I probably think having wet feet is probably low down when you consider all the things that could go wrong with a water crossing. But also consider just how many times you've had wet feet when doing some sort of water obstacle crossing, probably quite frequently. And it's probably made you feel quite miserable. You've got wet feet, wet feet are easy to get cold, um, wet feet are, easy, are, are more prone to, uh, to you know, sort of soft skin injuries and immersion foot and things like that. So being able to keep your feet drier for longer has got to be in the playbook of anybody that takes the outdoors seriously. So why don't we take a closer look at how I use that tape in conjunction with my walking poles to try and guarantee that I get to the end of the day and my feet are as dry as they started the day. Fingers crossed. All I simply do once I've got myself some tape, and I think it's probably worth mentioning at this point that this is no ordinary tape. This is some tape that is not only um, day glow, you can see it's high visibility, but it also is, um, it's, it glows in the dark. That's the word I'm looking for. It glows in the dark as well. And it also is easy to be picked up by, um, by a torch. So I can see this easily in the daytime and I can also see it fairly well at night as well. All I do is I cut off a couple of centimeters, enough to go around my walking pole shaft a couple of times. I cut off a couple of centimeters. I then take my walking pole, I place it next to my boot and I mark the point of the, the lowest part of my boot where my foot goes in. Once I've marked that, I just wrap the tape a couple of times around the shaft, around the walking pole, and I replicate that on the other walking pole as well. So what I then have, if we look at this from the you know, correct orientation, what we then have is I have a gauge that I can look down and very easily see in daytime and at nighttime to give me a sense. If I can see that tape and I can see plenty of it, there's a fairly good bet that I can put my foot there and it's not going to go over the top of the boot. If I can't see that tape, it's come below the water surface, that's a really good indicator that if I put my foot there, then I'm going to get my feet wet because it's going to go over the tops of my boots. I also can take that same approach and I can also place it at knee level. Now, personally, when I'm crossing an obstacle, I want to keep in an area that is as shallow as possible, but that isn't always going to be possible. So I also put something at knee level. I don't like to wade anything that goes above my knee. I just don't feel that like I've, got, I've got the control and the confidence to do that. So at the, at the lower end of my knee, I also mark it there, and I've also got a good sense about, yes, my feet are going to get wet, unfortunately, because it's up to my knees, but actually, I would still feel, depending on the current and a lot of other factors, I'd still feel probably quite comfortable to be wading at that point there. Really, really simple technique, really, really simple idea. Yes, after a little while that tape can unpeel and can come off. I've had that tape on uh, most of this year and it stayed there perfectly well. On other occasions, depending on what I'm crossing, it can come off quite quickly. I've tried painting my poles with all sorts of different um, paints over the years and I tend to find that that just chips off and it can't always be easily seen at night. So I prefer to go for tape and just replace it once or twice a season. Let me know in the comments below if you take a similar approach when you're wading across obstacles or if you do anything else to sanity check and sense check the water and the obstacles that you're going to be crossing. Stay safe, folks. Keep your feet dry. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Take care.